mass exodus mass exit from Raila Odinga's Orange Democratic Movement Party ahead of the 2027 general elections let me explain to you the factual details and i want you to follow this particular analysis up to the end so that you can understand what exactly is going on within the ODM party among the leaders themselves very soon very very soon and trust me the ODM party will be like the jubilee party completely dead and the only person who is killing the ODM party ahead of the 2027 general elections through his political strategies is none other than President William Ruto himself. Just like the way William Ruto killed the Jubilee Party. William Ruto is just a political genius. I want you to listen to this particular speech here by Esther Pasaris. And I want to assure you that Raila Odinga is not happy at all with Esther Pasaris. And in 2027 general elections, if Esther Pasaris will be contesting for any political seat, she will not get the ODM party ticket. That is the reality. Because the Nairobi County Women Rep, Esther Pasaris, courageously made a shocking announcement. An announcement that she made in front of the ODM leaders, also in the presence of the Wiper Party leader, Kalonzo Musioka, yesterday, during an event called the Citizen Legislative Conference, an event that was organized by Raila Odinga himself, an event that was attended by ODM leaders, some Wanainchi, who are invited, and also some of the leaders from Azimio Laumoja, One Kenya Alliance. In Pasari's speech, she attacked Raila Odinga directly, opposing and rejecting Raila Odinga's demonstrations. And I was so happy about it, because for quite a very long period of time, I've been looking for someone in ODM, a close ally to Raila Odinga himself, who will tell Raila Odinga the reality that demonstrations don't help at all. Because it seems that Raila Odinga is being misadvised, misled by some of his political advisors. You will listen to Esther Pasari's speech talking about it. Also, Esther Pasaris told Kalonzo Musioka directly, face to face, to stop lying to Kenyans that he will be the next president. Because Kalonzo Musioka in that event was trying to sell his manifesto that immediately he becomes the president, he will kill some issues within the Finance Act, like uh, the Finance Bill, actually, uh, things like the housing project and various issues there. And also, Esther Pasari's campaigned, endorsed, supported, and defended President William Bruto and the finance bill. You know, very many people, especially in the opposition, have been opposing the finance bill without a very good reason behind it. Simply because William Bruto is the president. But Esther Pasari's explained to them the reality behind the finance bill. She also talked about the taxes, how the country is being run. So just listen to Esther Pasaris very keenly what she's talking about. And as you listen, I want you to also take one second or two and subscribe to this channel. You can also give this video a like. Share this video if you can. Thank you so much for your support. 
Now, this is something I want to tell you. There is no country that can run without money. And the money can come from two places. Taxation or debt. Debt is not the way to go. It is so expensive and we can't afford it. I do not believe that anybody in the capital city of Nairobi should live in a tin Mabati house. They should not. And for that, you're not the ones who are going to pay that housing levy. That housing levy is going to be paid by the employed. But you know what's going to happen? You're the ones who will be going for mandamano to stop yourselves from getting the money to do what? To give you those houses. You'll be called and you'll go for mandamano. You will be shot. You will die. And let me tell you, I have not seen anybody from the post-election violence up to today who has been compensated. So for me, I realized one thing. If I want to be sincere, right? Let there be a tax specifically for housing. And you know when Mwishmi Kalonzo Musioka said that the first thing he'll do when he becomes president is to remove the housing tax. I believe that if he ever becomes president, nobody will allow him to remove that housing tax if the government performs. Let me also read for you this direct statement from Esther Pasaris. She says that, I love William Ruto. Esther Pasaris declares her admiration for the president, expresses support for the finance bill. We have always said it here. That ahead of the 2027 general elections, very, very many ODM party leaders will dump Raila Odinga and the ODM party. Pasaris will not be the first one and the last one. We expect more. Because of Raila Odinga's official exit from the local politics to his African Union Commission top job, very many leaders in ODM will not be elected back because they have always been elected because of Raila Odinga. So for their political survival, they must be with William Ruto. Number two, it is because of Raila Odinga official exit from the ODM party and officially handing over the ODM party leadership to someone else. And also, William Ruto will win the 2027 general elections. It is very obvious. And there is no any politician who has ever wanted to support the losing side. For them to be on the safer side, they must support something that is winning. So they are running towards William Ruto because they know they will be on the safer side with William Ruto because he will win the 2027 general elections. So, Esther Passaris attacking Raila Odinga directly while defending William Ruto, it means that, first of all, it is very obvious that she is dumping Raila Odinga and the ODM party for William Ruto ahead of the 2027 general elections. Number two, it means the fallout between Esther Passaris and Raila Odinga in ODM. That is why they don't agree. Because few months back, if you can still remember, Esther Passaris was summoned by ODM party disciplinary committee. She was warned simply because of her voting for the finance bill 2022-2023. So you can tell the rules within the ODM party. Very, very unfair. And finally, just like I have said it earlier on, honestly speaking, Esther Passaris, the only reason as to why she has been elected in Nairobi County as the women rep, it is because of Raila Odinga. Without Raila Odinga, I don't think if Esther Passaris can be elected. So because of her political survival and Raila Odinga is getting out from the local politics for his AUC position, she must side with William Ruto. 
So if Esther Pasaris want to be elected back in 2027, she must side with William Ruto.